Question 2 of Module 1, Checkpoint Test 1, read, show that 0,43 recurring is a rational number. As we saw in the practice test, when you are asked to show something to be rational, what you are actually needing to do is rewrite it as a fraction. So we start off by letting a variable equal to our recurring decimal. In this decimal, we have two digits that are recurring, both the 4 and the 3, so we need to multiply by the power of 10 that has two zeros, which is 100. So we multiply both the left and right sides by 100. That gives us 43,43 recurring. If we now subtract the equations from each other, we are left with 99x, 100 minus x is 99x, and 43,43 recurring minus 0,43 recurring is 43. Divide both sides by 99, and we get x is 43 over 99. So 0,43 uh, recurring is 43 over 99, as it's written as a fraction, and it is therefore, we have shown it to be a rational number. Question 3a, there are two terms in this expression. There is the term where we have to multiply the 3m into the bracket, and there is a set of brackets, m squared minus 3m, and they, that bracket is being multiplied by negative 1. So we first need to do the multiplication within each term. 3m times m is 3m squared. 3m times 6 is positive 18m. Negative 1 times m squared is negative m squared. Negative 1 times negative 3m is positive 3m. If we collect together the like terms, 3m squared subtract m squared is 2m squared, and 18, uh, 18m add 3m is 21m. Question 3f, we need to add these fractions, so we need to find the lowest common denominator. Remember to make sure that all of your denominators are fully factorized before you choose your LCD. 6 plus 2a as a common factor of 2, so that leaves us with um, 3 plus a. Now, a plus 3 and 3 plus a are the same thing because addition is what we call a commutative operation. In other words, it doesn't matter which way around your um, numbers are. The answer is the same. So our LCD will be 2 into a plus 3. We need to multiply the first fraction by 2 over 2. And the second fraction already shares that lowest common denominator, so we don't need to multiply by anything. That This fraction's denominator and the LCD are already the same. So that gives us 8 minus 1, and if we simplify the numerator, 8 minus 1 is 7, and our denominator is 2 into a plus 3. Question 4a, here we were asked to factorize this expression. Now, you need to be careful with this one because 4x squared minus 36 is the difference of two squares, but there is also a common factor. So we first need to take out the common factor of 4. That leaves us with uh, x squared minus 9, and we can now simplify the difference of two squares into x plus 3, x minus 3. If you hadn't taken out the, lowest common, um, the highest common factor first, you could have factorized it into the difference of two squares, 2x minus 6, 2x plus 6. But now each bracket has a common factor of 2, so you would have had to take it out as 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 3, and then you can multiply those two together. We'll leave you with 4x minus 3x plus 3 as your final answer. So that is the opposite way, the other way that you can do it. Just remember that you need to be very careful then that you take out the common factor from each bracket so that you have factorized it fully.